Well, there's a very symbiotic relationship with Robert Zucker and myself, but it's much, much deeper than books. Um, in fact, Robert is so important to me that in this book where I collected stories about kindness, I actually wrote about Robert. Um, so Robert first came into my life, actually, I think, thanks to you and FIU back in 2015, when we were looking for a place for our Bold Beauty project. And um, someone said, you ought to talk to Robert Zuckerman. So we emailed a little bit and we ended up meeting for lunch. And it was sort of one of those moments where my whole life marched off in a different direction after um, meeting Robert. So we met for lunch and we learned a little bit about who he was and what he did. And I asked him if he would be willing to photograph my daughter, which was you know, pretty brave given who he usually photographs. And he said yes. And within a short matter of time, he came over to my apartment and photographed my daughter for the Bold Beauty Project. And he also brought a young woman with him who was hearing impaired and who um, was a model herself. And he gave the camera to my daughter and let her photograph uh, this woman. So we call that day a love fest. And we sort of mark that is the point in our lives where things turned around. Um, and so I credit Robert Zuckerman for really transforming my daughter and, and thereby myself and my life and everything that I've done since then has been an inspiration um, to follow his footsteps and to try to make the world a better place. Um, to give you a little bit more background, um, my daughter was born um, with a illness called cerebral palsy, a particular form called hemiparesis, where she's weak on one half. And when she was two and a half, she developed seizures. And when she was five, she had brain surgery. So we had a lot of really, really trying years. And uh, art therapy and music therapy helped her a lot, but nothing helped her the way Robert helped her. So he photographed her that day, and I can show you that picture. But she really credits that day to changing her life because he helped her boost her self-esteem so much. So this is the photo that he took of her that day. And there were several others that were incredibly beautiful. And this is the picture that he supervised her taking. Wow. Of so that day gave her confidence to, to move forward. Subsequently, she's finished college. And then she tells her story for the end of the book, which is my fairy tale come true, which is how she met a wonderful man on an internet dating site. And, uh, they have been together since then, and now they are engaged. And we would be having a big engagement party in January, but we're not uh, due to COVID. So every story takes a twist and turn somewhere, doesn't it? 